Yama Olivia Anderson Naga Gamilaroi Naga Ana. Hello, my name is Olivia Anderson and I'm a Gamilaroi woman. We come together this week to celebrate our amazing Year 12 visual arts students and their body of work. Over the course of this year, we have all worked extremely hard to make and create our own artwork. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we are gathered, the Garingai people. I pay my respects to the elders past, present and emerging who have and continue to take care of the waterways, land and sky. We acknowledge the contributions non-Indigenous and Indigenous Australians have had to the education of Pimble Girls and all Australians. The past year has presented significant and unforeseen challenges and it is a credit to the resilience and agility of our students that they have completed a body of work to a standard of which they can be proud. Whilst the vicissitudes of life are mirrored in the diverse range of artworks produced, audiences viewing this year's exhibition are reminded of an underlying thread of hope made visible in the making of art that remains at the core of humanity. By valuing opportunities for students to represent their responses to the world, students learn skills to confidently reimagine and shape their world. I now invite the 2019 Visual Arts Subject Captains, Emily and Elizabeth, to say a few words about their learning journey. Thank you all today for joining us in our digital exhibition. It's both incredible and impossible to believe that after a year of hard work, we're standing here today. We have spent so many years coming to view the previous HSC exhibitions, always in awe of what Pimble Girls have been able to achieve, and in denial that it would one day be our turn to display our works. It has certainly been an interesting journey in transitioning from our normal art classes to art in isolation, with teams meeting and socially distanced one-on-one -on -one conversations across tables. However, we can now finally say goodbye to the late night plans, last minute fixes and FaceTime conferences. Our bodies of work are finally done, so a huge congratulations girls. We'd like to give a special mention to Mrs Eastbrook for her photographic and curative expertise, who has supported us throughout this extensive process, both in person and digitally. We would also like to thank Mr Del Favreau again, who is our Head of Learning Area, who has been crucial in organising everything and being the rock that has kept us grounded throughout this crazy year. Against all odds, today we open our Year 12 HSC Body of Work Exhibition for 2020. We cannot say it's been an easy year, but making a body of work is never an easy thing. However, we feel particularly proud to be able to present our work today and celebrate the tremendous effort that each girl has put into creating this exhibition, despite the many ups and downs that has been the year of 2020. We would like to thank all the parents, students and staff that have helped us to get here today. To all the teachers, Mr Del Favreau, Ms Cassidy, Ms Key, Ms Hassett, Ms Easterbrook and Ms Harris. Thank you for putting up with our indecisions, decisions and many revisions during the making of each piece. For supporting our wacky ideas and unconventional art making practice, midweek breakdowns and moments when we simply wanted to give up. We could not have completed these works without your invaluable expertise. We hope you all enjoy our exhibition and the many months of hard works our girls have put in. Thank you all for joining us on this exciting day. We will now hand over to our principal, Dr Hadwin, to say a couple of words. Welcome to the 2020 Year 12 HSC Bodies of Work Exhibition. Oh my goodness, I can't wait for you to step inside the hall and have a look at what our girls have prepared for you. I've just had a sneak peek and I've been wandering around and seeing all sorts of medium presented this year. I have to say I'm really proud particularly of this cohort. Our visual arts exhibition is wonderful every year but this year is special. This year has been so challenging for the girls and for them to be able to produce this type of quality of work really is to, be, is to be celebrated. So congratulations girls. I can't wait to have some of our parents on campus as well to be able to share these wonderful works of art with you. So come on in, let's go and have a look.